The McClarity Award honors an EMLF member who exemplifies continuing involvement and commitment to the EMLF, the legal profession, and the energy and mineral industry. It's the Foundation's highest recognition of a member's contributions and has been awarded annually since 2004. As last year's recipient, it's my honor and privilege to introduce this year's honoree. The honoree joined the EMLF in 1993 and was elected to the Board of Trustees in 1997. This person also served on the Executive Committee. Over the years, the honoree has written and or presented at least 15 times for the Foundation, including annual institutes, Kentucky Mineral Law Conferences, Winter Workshops, Mineral Title Special Institutes, and Shale Play Conferences. In fact, the honoree spoke and authored a paper as recently as last year. In addition to the EMLF, the honoree has written and or presented to the Rocky Mountain Mineral Law Foundation, American Bar Association Section of Environment, Energy and Resources, Center for American and International Law, Society of Petroleum Engineers, the American Gas Association, the Pennsylvania Oil and Gas Association, and the American Association of Professional Landmen, just to name a few. The honoree has worked to develop the law as it relates to oil and gas development, transportation, and sale in Appalachia, with significant victories in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. More specifically, the honoree developed law for pipeline companies and condemnation and encroachment cases, led a series of precedent-setting cases in Ohio and West Virginia, confirming the right to extend natural gas production leases under the original payment terms, won in federal court to protect production rights held by underground natural gas storage, defeated major class action claims in state and federal courts seeking royalties on natural gas lost before the point of sale and royalties on hedging, tried and won a $70 million claim in a preferential rights case, briefed and presented oral argument in the Supreme Court of Ohio on key issues involving the interpretation of Ohio's Dormant Mineral Act, and represented the industry as amicus in the Kilmer case. The honoree earned a BA magna cum laude from Indiana University of Pennsylvania and a JD magna cum laude from the University of Pittsburgh. After two federal court clerkships, the honoree joined Thorpe Reed and Armstrong and rose to partner. In 2000, the honoree joined Reed Smith, where he is credited with building their oil and gas practice from the ground up. In 2012, the honoree added to his Reed Smith workload by joining the faculty at the University of Pittsburgh Law School, including a stint as their executive director of the Energy Law and Policy Institute from 2015 to 2019. The honoree left Reed Smith and opened his own law firm in 2020 and continues as a professor at the University of Pittsburgh Law School. He is recognized by the best lawyers in America in the field of energy law, named by Pennsylvania super lawyers in the energy field every year since 2004, and in the Super Lawyers Business Edition in the area of energy and natural resources, and a recipient of the Pittsburgh Business Times Energy Leadership Award and recognized in its who's who and energy list every year. It's been my pleasure to introduce this year's McClarity Award honoree, Mr. Kevin Abbott. Congratulations, Kevin.